Hi, this is Susie, and I have something I'd like to share with you today. A fabric arts project that I've just completed. This is my fabric envelope with embellishments. And um, let me turn it over and show you the back. Also has embellishments on the flap. When you open it, it's fully lined and has fabric ties. So let me tell you a little bit how I made it. Um, it has web fusing in between the layers and it has some pellon or buckram up in here in the flap, excuse me, in the flap so as to give it enough stiffness to hold the decorations. Because of the way I layered the fabrics and fused it, it has plenty of body to it, and it, it's not just totally floppy. My little embellishments are a t-shirt transfer picture of a vintage woman, and one of my little puffies, I call them, which is a tiny miniature collage, and rolled flowers and the leaves I made by layering different fabrics and stitching the veins in. So let me give you an up-close look at this embellishment. See if I can get this camera to focus. It really is charming in real life. And here's the word. I did this with free motion stitching on the machine. And let me show you again this embellishment up close. Another vintage lady. Let me wait for this camera to focus. Now, why does it want to do it sometimes and not other times? There it goes. Okay, so there she is. And another rolled flower and leaf. Of course, it has eyelash yarns and fibers and some tool of different kinds. So, the straps are put on, I stitched it on here, stitched it on here and added a button and it can easily be tied shut. You can put a little bow there if you want to. So it can act like um, a little gift pouch or a keepsake pouch for special photographs or whatever and it could also serve as a journal. Uh, pocket for gifts. If you're giving a journal as a gift, especially if you have this romantic, uh, shabby chic look to your journal, it would look really nice inside. And what a gift that would make. So that'll be up on my Etsy site before the end of today. And I wanted you to see that. But also, I made some extra puffies that go along with the same venue, I guess which is shabby chic or vintage and I'll show those to you. This first little one of course uh, print on t-shirt transfer paper and just snippets all the way around the edge and thought-provoking words and lots of fibers and then when you turn it over it's a simple uh, backing there you can see it's that tone on tone fabric but also, I left it as a pocket, so if you want to use those to hold a little note or a gift card, you could. So there's that one. And then this one. Let's see if I can get it to focus. And another one. Okay. Okay. So there's not much to it other than that. What I am going to do is I'm going to put these puffies on my Etsy site separately, but I mean separate from the envelope, but as a group of three, because if I price things together, it might be more than someone wants to spend, and then you can have the option to purchase these separate to go along with it if you want them. Okay, so... I don't know if any of you have ever made a fabric envelope, but it was uh, was interesting, a little bit challenging. I wanted to make sure it was stable and wouldn't oh go out of kilter. 
<coughs> excuse me, and have it. <coughs> oh boy, have enough um, presents to hold up for whatever you wanted to use it for. So there you have it. That's my little project share for today. Uh, fabric envelope. Oh, I should tell you, I think it does measure about 11 by 8. I'm not sure, but I will list that in my Etsy site, the exact measurement of it. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Thanks for uh, sharing all your tips and tricks and techniques, all you YouTubers. And come again and watch, watch my channel. I'm new, but I'm loading up videos as fast as I can. And I would love for you to watch and comment and subscribe if you so wish. Alright, thank you for watching.